I am. Not interested, little son. Try again when you've become a man. It's hot. It's hot up here, man. It's hot out here. Hot up here for a pimp. I'm not a pimp. Are you a pimp? I wish I was a pimp. Yeah, pimp. I love a psychologically manipulating women. That's so fun. And that's up, how we're starting the show. That's not how hey, we're starting the show. Hey, welcome to the Nerdy Pimp God Post. damn it. Big advocates of uh, pimping, uh, human trafficking, uh, we're not. and what have you. That's not true. But we're also big fans of... Uh, the indie game Minute, where it's kind of like a Zelda-like, and you die after a minute and reset to a checkpoint. It's real, it's real cool, like, little puzzle game. Uh, the developers of that game announced Minute Fun Racer, which is, you know, playing that formula. It's a cute little racing game. It's out now. Two ninety nine minimum. Uh, all proceeds for the developer and, and uh, publisher go to charity, various charities. So check it out on itch.io or on Steam. But, you know, pay what you want on itch since, you know, less money is going to charity if you buy it on Steam since Steam takes a 30% cut. So buy it on itch. Also, it it's going to be fun. I'm Will. He's Yeah, he's Will. I'm Walter. Did I say this was the Nerdington Post? He did not. This is the Nerdington Post, yeah. by the way. Yeah. The biggest thing of the week is Nintendo had a... Uh, Big honking Nintendo Direct. We'll get to that after Fuck everything them. else. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I've been playing a ton of Final Fantasy XIV. Of course you have. I'm all in on it. I'm almost done with the Shadow or uh, Stormblood content. Dude, this is the best Final Fantasy. Can't wait to get to Shadowbringers. Uh, what are you playing these days? Uh, I started playing uh, Star Wars that was some Fighter. Like no, I don't. Is it, wait, is it in there? Yes. Yeah, Hold on, let me let me fix my teeth real quick. Talked about talk it's about uh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> so this is how much we don't care about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, living that dragoon life, it's you know you always get these compelling villain stories. Yeah, yeah, you're good. It's gone. Yeah. Ignore the first like five minutes of this. No, it's <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's fine. Tra- I'm gonna leave it all in. It's gonna. That's be fine. No, leave it there. It's for laughs. But, uh, yeah, what are you playing? I'm, I'm going to be on Final Fantasy XIV all month. I think it was like Star Wars Fighters? Star Wars... Uh, Squadron. E- Squadron. Yeah. So I got that for Christmas. I finally popped it into my Xbox. It was okay. I just traded it in. Okay. And it was nothing special. But then I just keep going back to... Um, oh, fuck. What is it? Uh, Jurassic World Evolution. Hell yeah, man. It's a fun game. I'm kind of uh, like... I'm deep into it. How many islands do you have unlocked? Four or five. I have like one or two more to go. All right. Um, so I'm playing that, and then just work's been slammed. So I just do like stupid games where you don't have to think. Yeah. So like Jurassic Park is a good one, and then uh, uh, see these. So what's the what's the hot dinosaur that people are flocking to on your in your park? Oh, as soon as I have like the bank, I always try to release a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's what everyone <laughs> wants to see. But like, it's really cool how they what they do with that game is you kind of have to build your the uh, oh fuck the ecosystem around the dinosaur. So they don't like a lot of grassland. They want some jungle in it. So even if it's off by a little bit, T Rex will get pissed off, break the cage, and go start eating <laughs> your guests. It's funny. Oh, good old Rex. And then you can't release one Velociraptor. You got to release three because they're a pack. Yeah. Uh, animal. So if you only re- release one, he gets sandwich. pissed off. Breaks the fence and goes off and kills your guys. It's just really funny. They're just social creatures. Yeah, wow. Yeah, they're strapped back. Big fan of big fan of velociraptors. Um, those guys in real life only three feet tall. Really? Yeah. You huh. can just kick them right in the skull, <laughs> like they're a little dog. Just kick that little dog in the skull. You I mean, if there's a lot a of them, don't kick a they're, dog. Yeah, in they're, skull. they're gonna just tear you to shreds, though. Uh, Dinonychus, though, that is a raptor that's actually six feet tall, like in the movies. So hmm, I think I have one of those. Yeah, I, you know, Dinonychus, I think that's just harder to say, so in the movies... They're like, oh, they're Velociraptor. Like, Velociraptor. Yeah. It's, you know, they're, they're pretty much the same body type, just... Taller? One, yeah, one's okay. three feet tall, one's six feet tall. Okay. Yeah. Being in a dinosaur as a kid, because, you know, growing up in the 90s, you had to be. Yeah, especially with Jurassic Park and exactly. shit. I mean... Exactly. As a kid, if you didn't like Jurassic Park, what was wrong with you? Yeah. 
And you realize dinosaur, it's a stupid interest. Who are you, uh, Ross from Friends? <laughs> Dinosaurs have no impact on our daily lives. Yeah. Unless you're a fucking dork who's going out on digs in Utah. Fucking dino dorks. That's too hot. It's too hot. Uh, Speaking of dorks, not really dorks, but uh, there's a class action lawsuit uh, for the dual sense controllers having stick drift, but... Yeah, that happens, man. <laughs> That's gonna happen. There's gonna be manufacturing. I mean, gonna, people having issues. With Nintendo's that. had it's been an issue with the Switch since it came out. Yeah, and Nintendo's done nothing to fix it. I think Sony's gonna fix their thing because well, that's because they're more consumer friendly than yeah. Nintendo. But that's everyone's more consumer friendly. And than they Nintendo. always have different hardware iterations, right? Like there's gonna be a not just be, beyond like having a slim PS4. Like, there's probably going to be a slim PS5 down line. But, like, even when they had the same chassis of the PS4 Pro, they released a different version that had, like, a better cooling system right. and fans. So, like, Sony, they're known to iterate on their hardware. Um, Nintendo, I don't know. They, they'll make you buy the uh, Switch XL or whatever, and that's when you'll finally get the better sticks. And even then, it's not even going to be that big of an improvement, probably. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just... Uh, so if you have dual, if you have dual sense controller issues, get in on that and that class action lawsuit. Yeah, maybe, sue PlayStation, baby. Yeah, maybe get six dollars back in seven <laughs> right? years. You know. Um, as Resident Evil fans, we're excited for this rumor: Resident Evil Outrage, which is supposedly going to be Resident <laughs> Evil Re- Revelations three. They're dropping the whole Revelations thing and just giving it the Outrage name, but it's going to have the same format as Revelations, supposedly. Right. Um, I'm surprised there's not more information on this rumor, considering they had that data breach. So, yeah, I haven't looked into it that much, personally, because I just want to avoid spoilers as much as possible. Right. Just because that information is out there. I don't want to get spoiled for Resident Evil 8. Yeah. Sorry, Resident Evil Village. Village. They highlight the V-I-I-I, but no, it is not 8, despite them telling us it's Eight with everything they've right. shown in the logo. It's fine. The more uh, horror news, Silent Hill might be making a comeback, which is exciting. Did oh. you see the rumor where it could be the Blue Group team that's working on yes. it? Yes. There might be multiple Silent Hill games coming back. Okay. Because a week or two ago, Akira Yamaoka, who is the composer on the original Silent Hill games... Said he's working on a project that's going to be announced later this year, and it's the one everybody wants to hear about. Which I didn't include in the news because, like, eh, it's a little rumor. All right. But then more. But he rumors, did the music on the medium. Yeah, he did the uh, the alternate realm music and the medium. So it kind of works that you know he's got a working relationship with Bluebird Team, who might be making a Silent Hill game. But with all the rumors, there's also that a, a prominent Japanese studio is also working on the Silent Hill game that's going to be supposedly announced this summer. Hopefully it's good, we'll because see. the last couple Silent Hill games haven't been. <laughs> when been... was the last Silent Hill game released? It's been uh, a... since like the PS3 360 era. Not counting Pachinko Machines. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Homecoming on 360? Okay. Uh, the last good one was Gosh, Shattered yeah. Memories on the Wii. Yeah. And they had the Silent Hill 2 HD remaster, which they botched and of fucked course. it up and removed the fog and a bunch of other issues. But if you have a PC copy of Silent Hill 2, just like Resident Evil 4, there's excellent HD mod mods out there to, that gussy it up for modern visuals. So yeah, exciting stuff from potentially, potentially exciting stuff from Silent Hill. Personally, I'm not a fan of Blooper Team. Layers of Fear, it's just press up on the stick to walk forwards and you get startled every now and then well they've come a long way yeah. medium was fun i like the medium they did a good job on the medium i'm almost close to beating it you still not beating it dude I, you know me i go from game to game i cycle man you know this it's like uh it's it's been since december mike still has my copy of um he's the same way as you he still has my copy of miles morales you could beat miles morales in six hours i know yeah you you got you game jumpers i know man Just, it's an issue yeah, just it's okay. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to do that with Village. You just pop some Ritalin in and focus. Uh, 
It's okay. Like, with the new stuff coming out, I'm going to stay focused. Like, Village. Uh, Skyward Sword. Uh, get to that. Hey, man. It's the one... Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. But also in Konami news, they, they uh, dropped the, the, uh, an online shop where you can buy merch. So if you want oh, cool. some uh, okay. Castlevania merch, official Metal Gear Solid merch, it's not bad. It's some good looking merch. I just don't want to give money to Konami directly. Exactly. It's, uh, I'm with you on that. They gotta, they gotta prove themselves. They gotta earn their trust back. But, what um, video game company doesn't? Don't answer that. I was gonna say. Um, don't answer that. You know who always delivers? Insomniac. I like her. Okay. They make solid games. They make fun games. And also, they're consistently rated on like the 100 best employers yeah. in the United States. So, Insomniac. I'm looking forward to Ratchet and Clank. Rift yeah. Apart. So am I. Once I get a PS5. If I get a PS5 by right. then. If I pick it up, I might just be. <laughs> you know. Mortal Kombat. You watched the trailer? Oh, it was awesome. It's it was so yeah, cool. Man. It's it's what a Mortal Kombat movie should be. Exactly. Looks so. like we're going to get cool kung fu. Looks like we're getting that R-rated action. In the trailer, you see, we're going to have it playing in the bottom here. Those classic Mortal Kombat moves that you expect. Just Sub Zero freezing people's body parts and yeah. shattering them, creating an ice wall and throwing them in after like freezing someone's body and stabbing them with yeah, and frozen blood. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. It's not going to be the best movie, no. But it's going to be it's going to be one of those video game movies. You're like, all right, I'm not upset that I watch this. I just want some cool martial arts, man. I just want some cool martial arts. I've been I've been in a phase where I've been going back and. Uh, rewatching Jackie Chan movies. Nice, very nice. I watched Police Story for the first time. I've never seen Police Story. It's one okay. of my favorite it's movies, but with him is a Who Am I? Who am I? Which one is that? It's where he, he's like a uh, some an army guy, and he comes back from a mission and has amnesia. Obviously, <laughs> uh, it's really good. Okay, I watched it. I watched that movie a ton as a kid. Project A, man. Project A. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it before. He plays like a colonial era like 1900 or like late 1800s pirate or not pirate like coast guard guy and they have to fight pirates with martial arts it's weird and it's funny is that the one where he goes up against arnold schwarzenegger no that's around the world in 80 days i think Mm -mm. with steve coogan no we're thinking of a different movie we're talking we're probably talking about three different movies right now this is a recent movie around the world in 80 days came out like 10 years ago there's a recent movie where he fights Arnold Schwarzenegger. Who's a pirate? Whoa. I gotta check this out. <laughs> well, it's weird, though, because I, like, um, I don't want to see a 60-year-old man doing stunts. I get that, <laughs> but it's Jackie Chan. That's what he does. It's, you worry about I mean, look at you. Have you seen sad. Jet Li now? That man looks Is rough. Still shre- oh, no, he's not, I not hear it, I hear he looks rough. Okay. Because, like, Jackie Chan, he legit has, like, a hole in his skull. Yeah. From, you know. The dude being from, awesome. Like, yeah, being awesome. Being awesome. In Project A, he fell off. He did, like, a classic Buster Keaton thing where he just fell off a building and fell through some awnings. And that dude, he did not land in a safe way. <laughs> but, yeah, like, no stuntman, just no crash pad. Just, we're going to set up these awnings and then hopefully I land perfectly through them. <laughs> oh, sick movie. <laughs> So it's so fun, just that that classic physical comedy, man, with the cool. Yeah, action. that's what Jackie Chan's great for. I'm surprised he's not dead. Now, me too. He's I'm, great in uh, all the rush hours. They don't make that kind of movie anymore. I know it's unfortunate. Well, so, um, Sting, uh, Steve Borden, uh, in AEW took a power bomb. That dude's like 60, 62. Like I don't want to see these old men. Taking bumps, man. That's my like. With a movie, it's a safer environment because I, I don't want to see it though. Unless they want to die in the ring, like uh, in I mean, that's all they know. That's an awesome movie. That's all I know. That's a great know. movie. Oh, the wrestler. Oh, yes. that's so good. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. Sorry, uh, Mortal Kombat looks awesome. Looks violent. 
Uh, it's got one of the dudes from the raid, Joe Talsim, who's also in Warrior on HBO Max. So check that out. And I will be resubbing to HBO Max when the Mortal Kombat movie drops on that <laughs> streaming service. Oh, hopefully, you don't go watch in theaters. Hopefully, I can see it in theaters. Okay, we'll depending. Do that. See, I you know I'm down for going to a theater and watching it. It's just that theaters in this area just aren't open. That's true. I'd have to go to like a different county. I'm not going to drive. Maybe I'll drive to another county and <laughs> watch a movie. <laughs> I would. Yeah. So maybe we'll see Mortal Kombat in theaters. At the very least, see it on HBO Max. I'm glad we didn't see Wonder Woman in theaters. That would have been I would have been okay with it. Yeah. For to me, it was just a little too long. Yeah. It was just a little too long. I didn't hate it. I, it's, I definitely didn't think it was as good as the first one. Weird tone, weird pacing. <laughs> yeah, it's not as good as the first one. Last bit of news before we get into it. Um, so, like, a couple of weeks ago, we made a vow, like, no more superfluous business news, because that just bores us, and I don't know who's interested in it. We're not fucking Bloomberg, okay? Yeah. But maybe we will work for Bloomberg someday. Be your hot business gaming analysts. Hire us! Yeah. Or don't. Iris. So, Saudi Arabia has invested uh, over the past year $3 billion in EA, Activision Blizzard, and Take Two. Which, you know, we, this, this stuff happens all the time. But with like Tencent, that's a private company investing in a bunch of gaming, and it's separate from the Chinese Communist Party and the Chinese government. And the, uh, you know, human rights violations that's going on there but then this is specifically an initiative by Mohammed bin salman who's the crown prince of saudi arabia who is directly involved with uh human rights violations and this is government money being pumped into these big publishers like that eh, eh, that puts a bad taste in my mouth yeah you know it's like least... when the wwe went to saudi arabia it's like ah yeah at Come least on. put it through, like, one or two shell companies to separate it a little bit to lessen the taste. Well, EA wanted to do that. All EA cares about is money. Oh, they got their money. Like, three bills spread between those two. Like, they're the, also the three largest publishers in the world, so... Good for them. Yes. But, you know... There's still a bunch of jailed journalists. Uh, Jamal Khashoggi, he's dead. Chopped up in an embassy. <laughs> It's a weird double-edged sword because they are doing progressive things like women can finally drive and go to sporting events, but... Like You're it's locking a, up and chopping up jerk. It, it's a <laughs> PR move to look good internationally to kind of overshadow the human rights violations, and it's gross, but they are doing some good, so that's cool. <laughs> You know, it's not a zero-sum game. <laughs> still leave, it still leaves a bad taste in my mouth with these publishers, you know. But you, you know who's happy-go-lucky? Happy-go-lucky publisher. That's right. Nintendo with their <sighs> February 17th Nintendo Direct. I'm going to tell you right now. A lot of games going on. Should I do my Dunkin' and Dipshits after or before? After, because it's like the last announcement, so... So first up, new Smash character announced. We see a bunch of fo- we saw a bunch of footage for Xenoblade Chronicles two, thinking like, oh, this could is this gonna be new DLC for that? Since they added That's what I content thought. for that game, and you know, but no, Pira and M- Slash Mithra coming to Smash Brothers, which. Cool, I guess. I, I, I don't get, care I, for Smash. I, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care for Smash or uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Two. So that, I tried to play that when it came out. I just couldn't get into it. I I, I put like two hour, two to three hours into it. I was like, ah, oh, I can't. It has a really, I, from what I've read and watched, it has a really rewarding battle system. It's just there's so many layers to it to like finally get into right. it. It takes a while, and then once it starts clicking, really rewarding mm. and fun. But one of the fun things with uh, Mithra. Because, you know, Nintendo's a PG company. <laughs> and kids play Smash Brothers. A, they added a bunch of uh, black tights to Mithra. Because, like, any time you see black on her body, that is bare skin in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. 
So, you know. Same reason they don't have Mai in the background for the King of Fighters level. Uh, too sexy. We can't have sexiness. Not with Nintendo. Smash Brothers, no. Although, you know, people are yeah, baiting to we uh, we Fit Trainer. I'm, yeah. It's probably. I mean, I sure haven't. I, I don't know what you're talking about. On to the next one. Fall Guys. Fall Guys. Is coming to Switch. Switch I think summer. it's summer, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. March. Myth, uh, Pira slash Mithra is coming to Smash right. in March. Fall Guys coming this summer. Also coming to Xbox. Xbox made an announcement today. Fall Guys. So pretty much just coming to every other platform. Come, yeah. A lot of these announcements, most of these third-party games coming to other systems. Uh, that's just going to be assumed unless it's... Uh, Weird specific thing. Um, yeah, Fall Guys. That's already out. That came out free on um, PlayStation. PlayStation Plus, and it's been out on PC. So that's cool. Have fun with your falling mm. guys. Then Outer Wilds. That's a good game. Outer Wilds coming to Switch in summer. Uh, it's a cool first person kind of Majora's Masky puzzle game where it's a time loop and you just you don't get any new abilities, but your knowledge. Of the systems and the worlds, like advance you through the game. It's really interesting. It's really idea. cool. Yeah. And if you play on PC or, or Xbox, it is on Game Pass. Yes. And then the next announcement, they announced so many little things. Um, I, Famicom I really Detective Club, a detective visual novel. The there's gonna be two of them. Uh, De- Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and The Girl Who Stands Behind. Those are coming May 14th. You know, I don't, uh, this year, uh, like, January is where I clean up and play some indie games, so I'm kind of getting more into, like, just narrative-based games a little bit, so maybe I'll check them out, probably not, but I'm more yeah. I'm more susceptible to checking out that kind of game, <laughs> you know? You have to, every once in a while, check in with something you don't like. I mean, that's fair. I like it. That's, that's fair. Like, once a year, I'll watch some scat porn and be like nope still don't like it still don't like it i want to throw up all right but maybe next year i'll like i'll because we're constantly changing as people our tastes change our interests change you know maybe you'll be into bestiality one year who knows i'm not into it but maybe in five years i will be speaking of bestiality the next game they announced was samurai warriors 5 that has nothing to do with bestiality get out of here uh, yeah, like, which is summer of 2021. Yeah, I feel like... Pretty much your Dynasty Warriors. Yeah. If you like Musou games, and it's just a Musou game instead of Feudal China. Feudal Japan. Yeah. They changed up the art style, made it more uh, anime-ish, more, a little cell shading. So it looks nice. Not my kind of game, coming out summer. Uh, Legend of Man yeah. Remastered, June 24th. The Mana series, they've been re-releasing those, remaking those with uh, Sword of Mana, Trial of Mana. Uh, this one, they're not remaking. They're just remastering it. Um, I PS1 have, game I have, originally. I have a question. Yes. Do you really want to go through this entire fucking list? Yeah. Do you want to just highlight? No, nah, we're going through the whole God thing, baby. It. Okay. All right. Monster Hunter Rise, they're releasing a new trailer. That's hype. Everyone's going to love that game. Uh, no know. new I don't think I'm going to care for it. Or not, yeah, nothing new. Uh, just a new trailer, March 26th release date. Oh, they did announce uh, a new Switch variant that oh, has yeah. six designs. Oh, yeah, that a, did look cool. And the Pro Controller. That looks good also. This is probably the third biggest news from the Direct is new Mario Golf game. Mario Golf Super Rush. And this is the game when I was like... June 26th. So, me and my buddy Alex, uh, who are very big Nintendo fans like every Nintendo fan that watched us we went in with high expectations and got immediately dragged back down to earth every uh, Nintendo Direct you have to curb it you know I always say that I'm going to curb it and then I never do yeah. um, but as soon as this came on we were like oh this is awesome and the Mario Golf Super Rush looks like a really cool concept it's pretty much going to be Wii Golf with Mario characters but you, in the multiplayer mode Pretty much, it's it kind of has like a Mario Kart racing feel to where yeah. you have to run to the next green. Yeah, so whoever finishes, I think, however many holes the fastest with the best score wins. Yeah. Uh, it they it's really cool how they're molding uh, Mario Golf 
with some of these Mario Kart uh, yeah, like a, mechanics. Some on foot racing. Yeah, and then like you can that. like get a power up and fuck someone up to try to beat them to the other yeah, hole. I gotta get there first so I can hit my ball right. first. <laughs> uh, so I this was the first game that was showed that I was like, all right, this is yeah. gonna be kind of cool. Maybe the direct's gonna start picking up, and it didn't. As as a uh, coastal southerner, you know the the whole the Carolinas and Florida. I assume everyone there is into golf. Are you into golf? I really don't give a shit about oh, golf. Okay. I, you hit a ball. I mean, I know there's some skill behind it, uh, but yeah. I feel like, the, like that's part of the culture since there is such no iconic, absolutely no there's like, a sh- iconic, yeah uh, like that East Coast and then Florida. Yeah. I forget what it's called, like uh, clubs. No, con- not country club, club but like uh, whatever co- courses, courses. There's iconic courses down. Oh there, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The, like Carolinas. Oh yeah, and like Mar a Lago. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, no. And the neighborhoods are built around the courses. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited for Mario Golf. I just came from our buddy's store and pre-ordered it, so that's one Switch game I'll be getting. Yes. June twenty fifth. Yeah, same with the hype. Like, I'm every time I there's a Nintendo direct, direct happens, I assume I'm not going to hear about Bayonetta three, and if it happens, I'll be happy. But so, I'm going, assume uh, they're not going to talk about the game. And you know what? That's fair. I, me and my buddy Alex, we should have gone into this. We're like, you know what? They're not going to, they're not going to announce anything we want. We're <laughs> going to watch it as fans and be like, all right, cool. But no. We went in because Alex has a little wish list of what he, what he wants from Nintendo. I have a little wish list of what I want from Nintendo, and we nothing do. happens. We all do. Just That's why you don't... Uh, you know... You're not 10 years old, man. Santa Claus isn't real. And Nintendo's well, then Nintendo gonna... needs to stop <laughs> trying to be <laughs> Santa Claus, then. Nintendo's not going to, you know, give you what What's you next? Want. What's next? Tales from the Borderlands come to Switch March 24th. <sighs> this is cool because... After the developer uh, Telltale Games shuttered, it, it got delisted and then for years, and then it came back to storefronts uh, earlier this month. So, Tales from Borderlands is back, one of Telltale's best games. So, yeah, if you like visual novels, check it out. I might check it out because I like Borderlands, and I hear that's one of their best. Again, not into visual novels, usually. Next one Capcom Arcade Stadium. Just a bunch of. Capcom arcade games. Check it out. I mean, there's some cool stuff. Some sick... Capcom made sick beat-em-ups back yeah. in the day. So if you like that, check out. They, I think they it's split into three different collections, so you know, check out which ones... which games are in which collections see if, you know, that has the games you want. Check it out. I'm gonna check it out maybe on, on Steam, see what games they have. And then uh, we got Stubbs. And the... that's available today. Stubbs the Zombie, Rebel Without a Pulse. I actually uh, played this game back in the day. It was okay. actually really fun. I was going to say, like, I've never heard of it. I, it's like, a fun game. It's I like saw a cool... some people were excited about yeah. stuff. I, I was actually kind of excited to see that. It's a fun game. You pretty much play Stubbs a Zombie, and you're pretty much just trying to take over the world. All right. But it's, like, goofy. It's funny. I'll probably check it out again because I haven't played it in years. March 16th. Uh, next thing I'm semi-hyped about, No More Heroes 3. I could never get into those games. Thing. That creator, Suda51, I can... S- he's interesting. Okay. He's all about... It's like if... David Lynch was punk rock, but not as good <laughs> as David Lynch. <laughs> Just like weird flash over substance... Or something like you have Devil May Cry where Flash is the substance, right, right, like I right, want right, to do right. the coolest shit and that plays into it. Like a lot of gimmicks, a lot of visual flair that don't really have actual impact towards the story or the gameplay. Like I don't I I've I'll probably check it out. I tried to get into the first game, I just couldn't get into it. I could I played the first one too, I just yeah. couldn't get into it. Other games he's involved with I've been able to check out, but again, it's they're good kind of. <laughs> there are aspects about his games that are good. 
either story wise or visually. Like looks visually, like, I it yeah. looks like a game I'd like, but I played like I said, I played the first one. I was just like, ah, this yeah. isn't for me. But then like the gameplay is kind of ass, <laughs> or maybe the gameplay is okay, but then it has some weird wrinkles to it that it's fun, right? Despite itself, right. like wow, there's something here. Just you add these other things on top of it that make it not as fun. Yeah, but that makes sense. Like Killer is Dead. That's an okay action game. They should pick up on a sale for three bucks. But No More Heroes 3, August 27th. Uh, Mike is hyped for that because No More Heroes 1 and 2 are his favorite games. I think he mentioned that on the yeah. when he was here. No More Heroes. Next game is interesting. <laughs> Neon White, first person action game. Coming winter 2021. It looks like pretty fascinating. It's like a genre mashup. Like a deck builder. Yeah, possibly deck builder. Which like I a can never get into deck game. building games. But it's like a fast-paced first-person action game. So, like, your the card you have in your hand it determines, like, whether you're shooting. And then you can discard that card, switch it to the next card. And you, it's curious. I'm curious about the systems. It's made by the Donut County developers. Who uh, Donut County was a puzzle game where you control a raccoon trying to shove things into a hole and make the hole bigger. Interesting. It's a little Katamari Damacy-esque. If there's a demo, I'll, I might yeah. check it out. Definitely check out the uh, Nintendo Store because they did release a lot of demos for the yeah. this stuff. So yeah, just, just check out the latest demos. Yeah, I'm curious about that. Next thing was DC Superhero Girls no. Teen Power, no. June 14th, and it was weird because I'm like thinking, when's the last DC superhero game we got? I was think it? it was like DC Superheroes Online? Okay, no, I'm, well, I'm talking about. It. New, just newer DC in general. Like, was Arkham Knight the last DC game we got? And then, not counting Lego, of course. Well, obviously. Legos, then, yeah, like, the, a real DC game was Arkham Knight. And then we get DC Superhero Girls Team Power, which, it looks like shovelware. The graphics look like they're from last gen. And then uh, we're getting Suicide it, Squad and yeah. Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights this year, then Suicide Squad by 2022. I was a little curious watching this, because I'm like... Is this like an action RPG? This looks like it could have something to it, but I don't know. I don't know. If you're, you're into that sort of thing, if if you're like a uh, a Gen Xer and you want to force <laughs> your love into uh, DC comics onto your like eight year old daughter or something, get her this game. I guess. That's uh, I think that's the target audience for this. I don't know. Of just uh, I didn't Xers. care for it. I'm sorry. I just yeah. I I can't like like young girls who are into comic books. That's cool. You got this weirdly specific game targeted towards you. Part of me is like just hoping that this was like a direct for Nintendo of like, all right, we'll announce like three to four big things and then all this mediocre shit. And then I'm hoping, I know, like you said, no expectations because it's probably not gonna happen. Yeah. On the twenty first, which is in three days, is the thirty fifth anniversary of Zelda. So, yeah, like you said, no expectations. Yeah, this is fun. It's not gonna happen. You know, it's yeah. not gonna happen. I already know this. It's, it's gonna happen summer. I, I should get so far away. It's gonna happen summer because that's how they did the Mario thing. I know. They announced it late summer and then released the collection a couple months from then. I know. I get it. But anyway, let's continue. Yeah, I'll I'll save it for the end. Uh, Plants vs Zombies: A Battle for Neighborville Complete Edition, March nineteenth. Yeah, it's. It's like, get it's out been here. out for a while. It's been out for a while. Metopia. I am surprised they brought this back. This 3DS me game. Which is why I had an issue with the direct. I'm like, you're bringing back Metopia. Yeah. Hey, but you're not going to. Like, no, I'll wait for the end. I'll wait for the end. God damn yeah. it. We're bringing back Metopia, but this is the year, an anniversary year for Zelda, and there are some great Zelda games on the 3DS and the Wii U. Yeah. But hey. Here's Metopia. From the 3DS games, we're bringing. Metopia. Exactly. So, this is when I did, like at this point I was like, I wanted to blow my fucking brains out. Yeah. May twenty first for everyone interested in Metopia. You, you could finally throw away your 3DS Metopia fans because you're getting it on Switch. Yeah, but I can't throw away my 3DS because Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time is still on 3DS. All right, what's next? Animal Crossing at, coming to um, Mario items coming to Animal Crossing. That's uh, next week, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Twenty fifth. Um, that's 
It looks weird seeing Animal Crossing dressed up like as Mario, just because the proportions are very uh, different yeah. from Animal Crossing You're, characters. The villager has the exact same clothes as Mario, but the body proportions are right, different. It right. weirded me out looking at it. But it's cool, but you could add functional warp pipes onto your Animal Crossing. That village. was kind of cool. I couldn't get into Animal Crossing, so again, that news really didn't do anything yeah. for me. I could do landscaping in real life. Yeah. I'm not going to, but I can. February 25th. Uh, this is this is what got my acorn wet with uh, Square Enix keeping up their tradition of awful working titles. <laughs> right. Project Triangle Strategy. What was Octopath Traveler? What was, they, what was their working name? Project Octopath. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well. And it ended up so that means big. that this game is probably going to have Triangle in it. It's probably going to be called Triangle Strategy. Right. Saga. Or Legend. <laughs> triangle Strategy Legend. As Final Fantasy Tactics is one of my favorite games of all time. And this looks to carry on the legacy of that. Right. But with the graphical styling of Octopath. I do like the graphic styling. Mixing that 16-bit and like 3D graphics. It looks so cool. And... It's bringing. It's not just Final Fantasy Tactics. It's bringing stuff over from Tactics Ogre, which is the predecessor to Final Fantasy Tactics. But Tactics Ogre had branching storylines, okay. which this one seems to have. With they had three concepts of going through the world, like these utilitarian uh, freedom, and then I don't know, logical whatever, branching storylines, cool tactical uh, options. <laughs> Very exciting. They're bringing stuff that I always wanted, right? In a strategy game right. that, I, like, in my fantasy, like armchair game design mm-hmm. thing, like these mechanics I've always wanted, like combo attacks between positioning of your units. Um, some stuff that was in Jean Dark, which is a PS, which is a strategy game that's trapped on PSP. Right. Which is unfortunate. Like someone remaster that, bring it to Steam, something Switch. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to replay that. I don't want to have to take my UMD, which I do still have, and my PSP, which I do still have, and pop it in again. But it's, this might be the tactic spiritual successor I've been wanting for decades. Decades! And they're also bringing in like en- elemental shenanigans that have been seen in uh, CRPGs like Divinity Original Sin, where... There could be fire on the battlefield, and then you cast an ice spell huh. on the fire, and then creates a puddle, and then you could use that puddle to amplify your electric attacks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, which you, you haven't seen in Japanese strategy games before. So mm. this gets me so excited. I am. I I wish I had my Switch right so I could play that demo. The, it's available now. The next game, Star Wars Hunters, looks co- looked cool. I mean, you got like a twenty second like uh, cinematic trailer. It's Zynga, dude. What's Zynga? Like the biggest mobile game developer, or one of them. It's probably like a. We haven't seen nothing about it, uh, but it's probably going to be. I think I thought they said it was like a a PVE thing. Hold on. I feel like I saw something like a small. Yeah, it's like it looks like it's going to be a mobile game, on the because isn't it coming to mobile also? Uh, it's I just like remember them saying it was coming to Switch or like was in development. Shitty Star Wars mobile games that already exist. Because that's what Zynga does, man. That's what Zynga does. Hold on, let's see. Um, I wish I could remember what Zynga's biggest game was. <sighs> it's a competitive third person shooter set in the Star Wars universe. Takes place after the fall of the Empire, obviously. And we'll have squad-based multiplayer combat. It's going to have some shitty microtransaction-based thing. Well, of course. It was their biggest game. Oh, yeah. Then it's definitely going to yeah. It's gonna be microtransaction. I expect nothing from Star Wars Hunters. Yeah. We'll see, though. We will see. Uh, Knockout City from EA. Um, this looks weird. That, that was a bad trailer. The game might be fun because I like dodgeball. It looks like a cartoony dodgeball. It looks game. like it looks like Fortnite, but with dodgeball. Yeah, I'm not gonna play this, but I, I wish. I if could it's play. free to play, I'll play it. It won't be. Well, yeah, it's well, it EA. Might be. It might be. Well, EA, EA charges. It'll probably be free to play, and then 
You buy loot boxes and oh, cosmetics of and shit. You gotta buy a battle pass, baby. Um, I want to play Dodge. I thought it looked is there, interesting, is, but yeah, we gotta find some thirty-year-old dodgeball league because those for sure exist. I, dodgeball is fun. I wish I could play dodgeball still. All right, on or, or we just go to a gymnasium full of kids and start whipping balls at them. All right, I'm down for beating up some kids. All right. Next up was World's End Club, which is a visual novel slash platformer from the developers of Danganronpa series. So, coming May 28th. I might check this out. I don't know. I hear good things about the Danganronpa series. With the uh, puzzle solving, story, mystery shit. I'm not gonna. No, you're not. I might someday. You're not. If I get it for free on like epic game store or gog i might then because that's how i've been going through uh visual novels when's it, does that come out coming out may 28th but yeah there's a lot of people are excited for that i'm probably gonna check out get hades physically on switch march 18th it comes with a digital code for the soundtrack and an art book so i might get it dude i am just i just like having physical games just get it on xbox I like having physical games when they played the trailer though they showed the gameplay footage and that, like Apex Legend Lady. Lady oh, Apex looked like shit. Like, oh, that looks noticeably. That looks really bad. It doesn't look as bad. Hades on Switch doesn't look as bad because it has like a simple graphical style, anyways. But in the trailer, you could tell that's a, a Switch low, game, low, lower a resolution. Switch game. But yeah, check out Hades. But yeah, we'll get we'll get to Apex. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Master Collection, which is. All the the three Ninja Gaiden games that came out on between Xbox and Xbox 360 that era, coming to Switch, also coming to PS4, Xbox One, mm-hmm. and PC. So I I might check that out since I like that kind of action game, but I don't like Ninja Gaiden and how they do it. <laughs> At least I didn't like it when I played it ten years ago. But right, maybe right, right, right. I'm a different person now. Maybe I like Ninja Gaiden now. Uh, I still don't like Scat. <laughs> no. but maybe i'll like ninja gaiden now maybe i like ninja gaiden maybe now, so you I'm never know definitely interested in checking that collection out and, you know three highly regarded well the first one's highly regarded and they get worse of course as they come out but i'll definitely check that out oh, you got till june june 10th, june 10th. Yeah. and then we got an announcement for hyrule warriors expansion, uh, expansion, pass. The expansion pass uh that is the worst trailer i've seen like ever possibly well yeah because it, it's nothing it's just all the characters, <laughs> yeah, and then expansion pass coming. It's like they yeah, they show all the characters. Wei Zhong Zhan. and then it ends with here's a checklist of this content that's coming, which you can't even read it. You all. have to pause it. <laughs> oh, it's so it's like, stupid. Yeah, that is, it was the worst trailer of the whole night. Are you gonna get that though, or do you? Well, I own the game and I enjoyed the game, so I'll, I, I'm gonna like read what's coming out yeah. and see if it's even worth getting. Like if there's, but the Zelda fan in me is probably like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Because I'm stupid. Like if there's a link in a Speedo DLC. Like, oh, I'll, oh, I'll get have, that. I have to get that. That's my new profile picture. Hell yeah. Dude, Hot Wheel Warriors Expansion Pass. Probably default, uh, just reiterating, that's coming out the 26th. Uh, JRPG from Square Enix. Probably default too. So, yeah. Carlos is excited for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection. Uh, Capcom. New Ghosts and Goblins game. I thought it was originally like a remaster or a remake. I thought it was too. But yeah, apparently a whole new game coming out uh, February 25th. Saga Frontier Remastered, which a niche JRPG series from the 90s from Square Enix. Remaster coming to oh. PC, Switch, April 15th. Yada, yada, yada. New sprites look like ass. They... Uh, they're doing that thing. They re-released the old Final Fantasies on mobile. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like, SNES graphics with the pixel art style. What they did with those games is they changed out the sprites with the same art style, but everything is smooth. So you got these weird, cartoony, big-headed, smooth people <laughs> running around. <laughs> And it looks butt ugly. And <laughs> Square Enix is continuing that trend with the Saga Frontier Remastered. 
Damn you, Square Enix. Yeah, fuck you. Haven't learned your lesson. Nobody thinks it looks good. I don't know why they keep fucking doing it. Because people are buying it. I, well, for sure. 100%. Like, oh, I could play Final Fantasy 4 and 6 on my phone? Cool, I'm going to do that. Yeah. That's the only reason they do it, man. I know. It looks like ass. April 15th. Uh, Apex Legends coming March 9th to Switch, finally. <laughs> so bad. It looks like shit. Don't but, play Don't play that game on a Switch. As long as they get the frame rate, which I'm sure they did, because <sighs> it does not look good. Yeah, but it does not. You can play it on the go. So good for you. If you have a internet good connection on the you. go. Yeah. Just play it on your business laptop. I know. <laughs> I'll play it on my Xbox. Yeah. March 9th, so, Apex Legends. And here's... The, the here's news. the two the last two biggest pieces of news. Let's let's get the, shit. Uh, let's get the uh, last one out of the way first, since we have less to talk. Oh, okay. About. Last bit of news. There, one more thing. Splatoon three coming twenty twenty two. They they pulled a whole bi- uh, EA Bioware move. Let's announce something. No, I think that's... the thing is between Splatoon one and two. They're pretty much the same game, except there's a new campaign and, like, a couple new maps and weapons. So, it was, yeah, Splatoon 3, it's, it's, it looks like it's going to be more Splatoon. Right. And they're fun games. I, yeah. I enjoyed Splatoon 2 when I first got it for my Switch. I didn't. I, I enjoyed it. The matches were quick. It's kind of a cool concept. Like, Cam- the campaign, I wanted more of a first or third-person shooter. Mm-hmm. But that campaign is definitely more of a it's platformer. It's kids game. It was more platforming than shooting, which I didn't. You know, I want to shoot people. We'll see. You know, but we'll see what they do with three. I mean, I like I said, I enjoyed two. I thought it was a fun game. Like the way they blend the shooting and the matches are short too. So I mean, the shooting and traversal mechanics they all blend together. It's a well designed franchise. I know people are wet as shit for that because they Splatoon has a hardcore base. It really does. I mean, they have cool cool mechanics. I mean, like. The way they do, like, the paint splatter and everything, it always looks cool. And I'll, I'll probably end up getting it just because I enjoyed the second one. Yeah. For the span of Splatoon 2, Splatoon 2, it was, like, the most popular online console game for Nintendo. in Japan. So, oh, okay. Yeah. And yeah. Then again, it has a huge audience here. So, good on you, man. Splatoon yeah. 3. It's not any of... It's not the wait one more thing announcement either of us wanted. <laughs> no. But... And, and yeah. that's... And... Second Because that came time. after... The one we're about to talk about. Uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword is getting an HD re-release July is that 16th. 16th. 16th yeah. um, with a special Joy-Con and a yeah, new button. And Hylian Shield. Yeah, and a new button control. So if you don't want to use motion control, you can I don't. use the Joy-Con because sure they have some of the worst don't. motion controls I've heard. It's the only Zelda game I've never played. So obviously I'm going to get it. You will get as it. As pissed as I am. Yeah, it's one of the... Most divisive mm-hmm. Zelda games because it has. I played the first two hours of it at a buddy's house. It was the <sighs> slowest first two hours of any game I've played. That's not true. I'm, I'm speaking hyperbolically. For sure, I could. If I truly dig into the depths, you could find a game. I'll find something. But in memory, this is like, oh. You like this, Frank? This is slow as shit. I fuck this. <laughs> I, no, Groose. There's a fun character named Groose. He's like, uh, it's one of the first characters you meet. He's like a, he's kind of kind of fun. He's like a '80s movie bully. Oh really? And he's just like, Ugh, what's up, Link? <laughs> <laughs> like that jock bully. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's like big. He's got like a reverse pear shape because he's like, right, right. He's a. <laughs> there's some fun to be had, I'm sure. Uh. I'm not going to get this game. I'm going to get it, and here's why. And this is also going to seg into my dunking on tip shits, uh, which we haven't done in a while. So, Nintendo, I'm going to dunk on you because I love you, if that makes sense. So, I'm going to get Skyward Sword. Like I said, it's the only Zelda game I've ever played and beaten. Uh, I'm excited to play it, but I have to dunk on Nintendo just because I feel like they dropped the ball. And like you said earlier, I do think that, I do honestly think that Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are going to come out. I even saw someone on Twitter today who, I think he, he was the one who leaked the Mario 35th anniversary. Hmm. And he's like, oh, 100%, I know people are mad, but 100% Wind Waker and Twilight Princess is coming out. Which is fine. 
But Nintendo always does this thing where they know expectations are high. It's almost like they, it's almost like they do this for their own sexual pleasure. <laughs> they get off on like disappointing their fan base. And I'm not gonna lie, me and my buddy Alex, who are huge Nintendo fans, we were just like, wow. Other than like three or four things, that was a waste of fifty minutes. No, it's, Nintendo knows they've got you by the ball. Yeah, you'll tune in every direct, and then you'll buy everything they announce. Yeah, yeah. A uh, Skyward Sword, which is a sixty dollar re release. Master Chief Collection was forty. Fucking Nathan Drake Collection with three AAA games was twenty dollars. I think it was forty initially. Was it? I thought it was twenty or thirty. But Nintendo, but like you said, Nintendo knows. Nintendo knows that their fan base is so uh, committed to them oh. that they can announce a game like Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword HD, release it for sixty dollars, and then not announce anything else for the thirty fifth anniversary of Zelda. You know what I just remembered? I only have like a month left to decide whether or not I want to buy the Mario three D collection before it goes back in the vault. Yeah. Just like, buy it, don't open I, it, no. and then sell it at a, at a high value. That's what like I want years. you to do. Well, that's what you like to do. Well, no, well, the physical copies are all gone. I was thinking of just getting it digital. Oh, I have a physical copy. Hold up, sell that, dude. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to wait. Is it still in plastic? No. Because oh. I played it. No, you get it in plastic and scalp it. Get it digitally, <coughs> man. Anyway. Uh, but no, so I have to dunk on Nintendo just because... It's been forever since they announced anything. It's been forever since they did a real direct. And personally, I was stupid to let my expectations get all the way up here. I was dumb. It was on me. I agree, it was on me. But it's also on them. Because they they knew expectations right. They knew it. And, And like... You know, they announced, like, oh, later this year we're going to share updates at Breath of the Wild, which is when I think they're going to announce the 35th yes. uh, collection. But I just... <sighs> That's going to probably happen after the release date, the July 16th release date. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, they're building it. They're hyping up the media train and the uh, marketing train for Skyward Sword, and once that load's released, and then build up the marketing for the other Zelda stuff. I, I hope you're right, because... Zelda knows what their fans want, but Zelda's oh, not Zelda. Uh, Nintendo knows what their fans want. Not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish. So Nintendo about seventy percent of the time, maybe sixty. Yeah, sixty seventy percent of the time know what their fans want, but they suck at getting it to them. They suck at uh, realigning what they should do for their fans. Because if you ask any Nintendo fan, the top five things they're going to ask for: are more Zelda, more Mario, Metroid Prime Four. Dante and Smash Brothers. Dante and Smash Brothers. Not another... Uh... Or Crash and Smash, Smash Brothers. Yeah. And then they're going to ask for like a Kirby game or... Um... I don't think they, you need to ask for a Kirby game. I don't know. I'm just yeah. spitballing here. Kirby games just happen. Yeah. Like Yoshi I mean, games. Yoshi games just happen. Exactly. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, a Kirby game does come out like every year. It's like a little... They had that Battle Arena one like a year or two ago. I don't know. Anyway, I... But, like, when it comes to, like, the the mainstays of Nintendo, like your Mario, Zelda, Metroid, they should already know that's what fans want. And shit, Metroid 4 was announced in 2017 when the Switch was announced. And then, what was it, like, two or three years ago, they announced that they were rebooting it because yeah. it wasn't going no, well? Mm-hmm. So, like, give us an update on that. Even if you're not like, oh, it's coming out in 2022, just be like, hey... This is what's happening. But I get it. You want to kind of build that mystery and build that hype, but all I have to say is, fuck you, Nintendo. I hate you because I love you. And that's the end of my dunking on dipshits. I love you, Alex, you know. We share the same pain. It's okay. You can always rely on Nintendo to disappoint. Yeah! Yeah! Hell, even Xbox doesn't disappoint. They just like to buy studios and do nothing with it. Hey, man. I got... I got my game announcement. The the game I didn't know I wanted, but I for sure wanted, with uh, Project Triangle Strategy. I have to look at the name because it's such a stupid name of wards. 
I, I'm getting what I wanted. Well, here's the thing. I'm getting. I'm getting, getting what. I'm excited. Well, okay, out of a ten, how would you rate the direct? Like uh, seven. Okay, cool. And I was best. gonna say a six or seven out of ten because uh, the Mario Golf game I, I, I'm really interested in. Splatoon three, but that's 2022. Um, uh, shit. And then uh, Skyward Sword. Yeah. Um, that Project Triangle strategy did so much for me, man. <laughs> but it's but really you know cool what's bank. crazy is like look at the 35th anniversary edition of um the their their launch lineup for the Mario. I mean, they announce it, then you get the three game title. Yeah. You get Origami Mario. Or Paper Mario. Paper Mario. I and then you get uh, Mario 3D World. So you got five uh, Mario releases in the span of eight months. And right now we only have Skyward Sword for the 35th anniversary edition. We still got so much left in the year. I know. Though, I know. So that's why I'm not getting too worked up, but I'm still worked up because I'm a passionate Zelda fan. Um, I, even just, I even just booked up my first uh, session to get my leg covered for Zelda nice, City. Dude. Yeah, it's nice. going to be dope. Uh but yeah, so I know we have 10 more months of the year left. But yeah, Nintendo yeah. you got you got to you got to bring the heat this year cuz you didn't do shit last year. You you scraped by with the Mario collection. You got to do something this year. Yeah. Cuz that's Nintendo. They can scrape by. But they so so keep so finally throwing our money at it. <laughs> finally end rant. Do we have anything else we want to say? That's it. All right. For the nerdy Nerd in the post, I'm Will. I'm Walter. We'll see you next week. Oh, and a... Project Triangle Strategy, baby. Zelda. I don't know. Fuck it. You can do a triangle also since Triforce. Oh, yeah. Yeah, next week, um, we're going to try to have Mike on, me and him. We're going to talk the shit about Guilty Gear Strive, baby. Because that beta is Well, hopefully some news drops so I can talk and not just sit here. I'll bring my Switch just in case. Just in case. Yeah. I'll bring my Switch. Instead of playing the Strive beta, I'm here talking... uh, Talking about Nintendo? Get out of here. Apparently the netcode is awesome. It's going to be great.